had great secrets on wearing high heels comfortably. Over the years, I've been to hundreds of events at the English season and know how much high heels can really hurt, but decided to crack it. I think I have. So here are the five ways. What makes a shoe comfortable? Well, when you're in a high heel, the angle of the heel puts pressure down onto the ball of your foot. And of course, as we all probably know, that can cause blisters. A lot of the designer brands have compensated for that and really cushioned the inside of the shoes. But if you want to add to that, or buy a less expensive pair. There are products on the market like Compede that does a blister care. Um, this is a plaster. It is quite small though, but if it's just one specific area that you need to add to, then this will be great and it really will stay put. If you want something bigger, then Skulls Party Feet is really great. That takes up a lot of the front of the shoe. The only problem is it can decrease the size of the shoe. So you may even need a half a size up. It can put pressure on the top of the toe. So you really need to try it with it. Also, if you're wearing a sandal, this can slip. You may want to stick it into the shoe to make it really do the job properly. Put your shoes on at the very last moment possible so that you keep your feet rested until your day starts. You're probably going to be doing a fair amount of walking, but try to take some rest, sit down in between times. Don't wait for them to start pinching. How high should you wear your heels? Well, as soon as you put high heels on, it obviously changes your posture quite a bit, throws your weight forward. So make sure that you feel balanced. And I have to say that some of the heels are too high to feel balanced in. So make sure that you're really comfortable. Now, also it's about shoe size as well that defines how high you can have them. This is a size three shoe. 36. This is a size 6 shoe, 39. Now the heels are the same height, but the angle is very different. So the smaller the shoe size, the more extreme the height of the heel becomes, even if they're both the same size. This means that if you have a larger shoe size, you can actually take a higher heel more easily. Perspex on a shoe can give really amazing effects, but they can be quite hard and really dig into your foot. So the way to get around that is to heat up the perspex before you put it on. Doing something like giving it a good blast with a hairdryer will really change the feel of it. Foot care products are a real life saver. Know where your foot's going to hurt beforehand, so know if there's any pressure in the shoe or if you have any sensitivity on your foot. For me, I've got battered dancer's feet, so I know where my feet are going to hurt before I put the shoes on. Compede are really good. This is what I use because the plasters are actually treated inside, so they're treating the foot as you're wearing them and they never move. They're different shapes and sizes, so one's for the back of the feet. If you've got corns, then these are excellent. Or just possible blisters, these ones go around the toes and just stay there. The English season is all about looking glamorous. So wear the most beautiful shoes pain-free.